Skelton Show with David Rose and his orchestra and Rhett's guest star, Nancy Walker. And now, here he is, the star of our show, Rhett Skelton. Thank you very much. You notice me, how I came out like this? Well, I have to do that. You see, the doctor said to take medicine one day and then skip a day, and this is my day to skip. <laughs> All right, that ought to bring back vaudeville. <laughs> see, tonight our show has to do with beauty parlors and about beauty. I remember when I was a little kid, my mother used to tell us all the wonderful things that, uh, that uh, sort of accounted for beauty. Like she said, freckles were beautiful. My little sister thought she was beautiful for 14 years. <laughs> she thought she had freckles until we washed the mirror. <laughs> and my mother used to always say, brush your teeth every day, brush them up and down, never sideways, you'll splatter the wallpaper. <laughs> well, by the way, I just got a, uh, uh, and talking about uh, beauty and everything, uh, there's a new powder that they have out now, I think is made of gunpowder that the girls are wearing. <laughs> Must be. Last night I went home and there's some powder on my lapel and boy, what an explosion. <laughs> Here's a message that uh, one of our CBS engineers has just decoded. It's from a message from the satellite which was recently launched by the Army. And here it is. It's addressed to the Navy and it reads, <laughs> How about that satellite, though? Isn't that something? I understand that the Navy's going to launch one now underwater. <laughs> At the corner of Hollywood and Vine. <laughs> see, I got a joke to tell you. These two seagulls are flying, see? <laughs> and the Sputnik goes by. One of those uh, satellites go by like that, and he says, Whew, boy, I don't know who laid that egg, but they'll never catch it the hatchet. <laughs> He says, Gertrude, you look beautiful. She says, oh, I don't really, do I? <laughs> he says, yes, you're really beautiful. Everything is beautiful. He says, yes, what have I got that other seagulls don't have? He says, nothing, but you group it better. <laughs> he says, you should look at everything as beautiful. The beautiful sky, the beautiful rain, the beautiful cars on the highway. She says, it's funny, I ain't seen none of those little sport cars this year. He says, I spotted one yesterday. <laughs> You never say that you're ugly, though. Remember what happened, Okazuka? The Kazuka the turkey? <laughs> That's not the name, but it's going to have to do. <laughs> Since it all started when this duck was hatching out the eggs and the turkey egg got in by mistake, and the old head duck come walking over. He... <laughs> and he says, that duck egg, that egg there, it looks a little strange. The egg that size must have given you in a little trouble. But, sir, I suppose you girls have it tough. Laying eggs all the time must be a pain in the neck. <laughs> and this old duck says, Oh, brother, you don't know the half of it. <laughs> he said, Well, that egg looks suspicious to me. I'm going to keep an eye on it. But he didn't. She sat on it. <laughs> well, anyhow, it hatched out, and out came all the little ducks. No. Crack, 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 crack. And out came this one turkey. <laughs> Why he didn't look like his little brothers and sisters? And he says, hey, Mom, how come I don't wear snowshoes like they do? How come when I walk, I'm people-toed? <laughs> so the mother says, don't worry about a thing. Don't worry about a thing. He says, and everything happened to me. Everything was beautiful but me. I saw a, a peacock once. I didn't know what it was. He says, and I looked at it, I said, look at that chicken in bloom. <laughs> Everything was sad. All I wanted was somebody to say, my, what a beautiful bird. Well, he kept on going through life like that, and finally, someone said it. Why, what a beautiful bird. But it was too late. It was Thanksgiving. He was just laying there like that. <laughs> Yes, Mrs. Blue. 
shampoo at two for girls who want to have beauty. We are really doing a lot, cause it's our pleasure and duty to supply what nature forgot. And a set and a dye, oh, that's fine. Goodbye. If your hair is a disgrace, if wrinkles are aging your face, or if you've grown too round to embrace, girls, this is the place. If you can't capture a guy, and romance is passing you by, if you get groans instead of a sigh, please give us a try. We can rearrange or completely change any girls right down to their frames. We have great machines that make beauty queens out of dry, tired old dames. So there's no time to delay. Don't keep all the fellas away. They will line up if you will sign. on next week's unemployment insurance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, baby. Simmer down. When you simmer down, your radiator's boiling. Oh, Bolivar, oh, why don't you ever kiss the back of my neck like you used to? Why don't you wash it like you used to? <laughs> come on. Why pretend? 
pretend. You know you love me. Leave me alone. Hey, leave that's, me alone. That's pretty. That looks real nice. You like it? Yeah, let me show you something, though. You know, if you comb it over your finger like that and make a little coil there, and then push up the front here more, it gives more the personality. It takes away from the horse face. <laughs> learn to comb hair like that. I used to stack coconuts in the supermarket. <laughs> Do the same for Ma. Show her how you can fix a hair. Okay. Do you think I'd look, uh, do you think I'd look nice in a new part? Yes, you'd need a new part right down the middle. Every block should have an alley, you know. <laughs> hey, uh, this thing here. How long do you know in the Black Dahlia, anyhow? <laughs> I wasn't going to do it. I was just kidding. You know, we comb a little up this way here. Yeah. There you are. My, all oh. your beauty marks have legs, don't they? <laughs> there you are, sweet and scrumptious. How do you like that, Frostbite? Oh, wonderful. Isn't that nice? Oh. Yeah, you look like a million. Maybe older, I don't know. <laughs> hey, Ma, you look sensational. Oh. Say, so, you know, you got a real knack for this. You ought to get yourself a job in a beauty parlor. What, be one of them morticians? That's beautician. That's mortician. He's dead from the neck out. <laughs> hey, mother dear. What? Why wait the Halloween? Why don't you take a fly around the park now? <laughs> oh, I see you've got the new 1958 uh, model. It's got that forward look. <laughs> hey, Ma, listen. You know the beauty parlor on 3rd Avenue? Ain't it for sale? Well, what about it? Well, why don't we buy it and let Meathead run it? Meathead? Let Meathead run it. Why, that big ape couldn't run a temperature if he had pneumonia. Quit <laughs> it, Ma. The way he fixes hair, we can make a fortune. Yeah. He does have a knack with it. I've saved up some money. I'll put up $500. Money? I never thought I'd live to see the day. I'll put up $500. Well, now, now. Hey. <laughs> you can count on me for a thousand. Where would a big bum like you get a thousand bucks? From you two dames, 500 apiece. <laughs> this is exciting. We gotta get a name for the place. Yeah, That's now we're right. all in business to get it. Now we gotta find a name for the place. <laughs> <laughs> What's that sitting down there, fatso? <laughs> uh, see, how about the Oliver's Beauty Parlor? Or maybe uh, Beauty by Bolivar? I've got it. I'll bet you have. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast, that's right, you are coming in with me, aren't you? <laughs> ah, sir. Hey, see if the hot dogs are ready, will you? <laughs> Not quite. The rolls are. Well, I think that one's faster than this one. We're going to have to cook the chicken in there Sunday. <laughs> hey, sir. Well, we've been opening this place now for two months, and as they would say in French, business is lousy. How many customers have we had this week? This week, let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17. I used to could go higher, but I had an operation. <laughs> Let's see, uh, you mean the customers including you and your mother? Yeah. Uh, that's uh, a two altogether. Two altogether. <laughs> hey, how about me fixing your hair do again, huh? Oh, no, please. No more hairdos. My head's full of calluses now. <laughs> oh, come on. I got to keep in practice, don't I? Well, she wants you to tint her hair red. Tint her hair? Oh, I'd love to give that old hen a rinse. <laughs> oh, that's an old joke. Well, you got an old mother. <laughs> hey, buddy, yes. are you the hairstylist? Yes, I am. I've never worked on people like you, but sit right down. Now, what do you want? A little swerve in the back or a ponytail? Oh, no, 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 it's not for me. It's for Valerie Benton. Valerie Benton, the movie star? Yeah, we're shooting a picture on location down the street, and her wind's got her hair all messed up, and our makeup man's not here. Well, lady? Can you fix her hair? Oh, why fix it? She looks good to me. It's a little like a 30 cents. Ooh. Fix her hair. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, uh, come on. Now, how long do you think it'll take? Huh? I say, how long do you think it'll take? Censored. <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> 
cameras are ready to roll. The streets are roped off. We're losing the sunlight. Hurry it up. Well, let's not lose it for a minute. There she that's is. Who's there? Yes. Yeah, but that's not the way you do your hair. I know, but it's ten times better. Oh, I've been in Hollywood for years. No one's ever fixed my hair this way before, and he did it in two seconds. <laughs> Bolivar, you've simply got to come to Hollywood and open a salon. You've simply got to open a salon. Well, where am I going to get a liquor license? <laughs> Oh. I want you near me where you can dress my hair and do my makeup. Really? I'll even back you. You will. <laughs> oh, we're worse off now than we were with the other one. <laughs> Did you hear that? Holy wood! Isn't that great? Huh? Holy wood! I don't think it's so good. You get out to Hollywood with all the glamour girls and forget all about me. How could I forget you, sweets? How could I ever forget all you've done for me? How could I ever forget you one second? I'll always remember you. What was your name again? <laughs> yes, Miss Monroe, I think Mr. Barnaby could cut your hair. Well, fine, I'll put you down for Tuesday at 2 o'clock. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Bolivar's Salon Debuté. Oh, hello, Miss Ball. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Bolivar isn't in, but I expect him any moment. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, 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 how's all my little space cadets today? <laughs> <laughs> Miss Ball, my favorite star. As a matter of fact, I love loosely. <laughs> <laughs> my bird watching glasses. <laughs> our classes are murder. I don't care if they got pictures in them or not. <laughs> Hello, darling. Yes, darling. You bet, darling. What's that, darling? Yes, up in the back would be very nice. Now, a little, little wave over the side. And a split curl right in the middle. Mm-hmm. Yes, and arched eyebrows a little more. I think Desi would look good that way. <laughs> yes, goodbye, darling. <laughs> uh, tell me, what is my schedule for today? Well, now, Miss Valerie Benton will be over here in exactly five minutes. Oh, five minutes. Well, let's see. Molly Marie Benton. Oh, good. I better freshen up for her a little bit. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. <laughs> Raid. <laughs> Oh, well. Oh, let's see. Canal number four. Right? <laughs> oh, why be half safe? <laughs> I hate to say this, but that was hairspray. later. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, now the boss is in from Pomona. <laughs> Good heavens. My dear friend, take me to your leader. <laughs> Do you have an appointment? Appointment? It's me, Liverlip. Liverlip, Liverlip. That name does sound familiar. But that face, that is a face you're wearing. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what's come over you, but in a couple of minutes it's going to be six feet of dirt. Oh, I'm the girl who got the business in Brooklyn, don't you remember? Let's see now, let's see. Maybe this will refresh your memory. Got... <laughs> oh! I'm good enough for you yeah, now, what's wrong? Here, 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 here. What, what, what kind of cigars in there? What kind of... <laughs> you do back on that building, anyway? <laughs> What's the cigar pitch? It's set on it. <laughs> that last kiss kind of got me. Could I have my pivot tooth back? Well, you kiss me like that, I go 
all to pieces. Oh, you do? Well, come back sometime and I'll put you together again. <laughs> another kiss, another kiss coming up. How are you, darling? Oh, you just look utterly, 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 utterly. Utterly McKinley. Yeah. <laughs> Who is that creature? I don't know, but she's got a glass jaw, I think. I heard... <laughs> I hired to clean up around here. Valerie, booth three. I'll be with you in a moment, sir, dear. So you hired me to clean up, huh? Yeah. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is clean up now, with you. Now, wait a minute. You don't seem to understand. I'm a big man here in Hollywood. I only, uh, I only hobnob with the stars. Hobnob with the stars, yeah. huh? When I get my hands on you, I'll separate your hob from your nose. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Please, can come in here? Zip that up. Oh, well, there you are. I'm sorry that I delayed you, dear. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Oh, so divine. Excuse me. Someone just launched a guided missile. Well, this is such an important premiere tonight. No. I want to be the loveliest one there. There you will be. I'm not going. Oh, I'm not going. Oh, as witty as I used to be. Oh, you are witty. <laughs> <laughs> Bolivar, I must look glamorous. You will. I want to be different. <laughs> I'd like to make you look different. I think I will. Hmm, that ought to do it. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, is Miss Fenton ready yet? Oh, uh, well, Monsieur Bolivar's with her. She should be just um, only a moment more. I see. Make me look glamorous. Make me so that people will notice me. Don't talk. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'll work something out here in just a moment. Now, you just close your little narrow set beady eyes. <laughs> and we get to get to oh, nice and goopy. Isn't that nice? There we are. <laughs> just rub a little in there. <laughs> Have you been driving on the freeway with the windows open? <laughs> Ah, oh, we just get that all out. Oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, they'll notice you all right. The last of the Mohican. <laughs> Isn't Miss Fenton through yet? Well, I'm sure it'll be just another minute. <clears throat> With you at the premiere in an hour, I think I'll go see what's keeping them. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Welcome I... to the fortune-telling booth. Oh, I really love it, darling. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's a mirror! Oh! No! You, you ruined me. You made me a freak. I thought you said people would notice me. Oh, they will. Don't worry. <laughs> you grinner. <laughs> you for this. Oh, now, don't be like that, for heaven's sake. Here, here. Uh, take this paper bag, will you? What's that for? Put your head in there. Nobody ever noticed. Oh. <laughs> you idiot! Huh? You've ruined the biggest star in the history of pictures. Uh, I'll teach you a lesson. I'll teach you to spoil art and beauty and... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh. Good uh, heavens. Uh, introduce me. Spring came early. Look what came out of the ground. <laughs> well, you want to be introduced to her? Yes, please. Yes. Oh, Mr. Barkley, this is Betty. Betty, this is Mr. Barkley. You're just what I've been looking for for my next picture. How do you do, Mr. Barkley? How would you like to be a movie star? I love it, Lassie darling. Lassie returns. <laughs> Wait a minute. What about me, kid? What about me? Don't be ridiculous, darling. I only hobnob with glamour boys. Oh, now, wait a minute, baby. <laughs> Baldy! <laughs> I have it. We'll make a fortune. We'll travel from coast to coast. We'll play every bowling alley in the country. Here you go. <laughs> Our special guests will be Rita Marino and Fred Cadiddlehopper. Hello. 
thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. May we thank the makers of pet milk for making our visit possible. Next week, we'll be brought to you by alternate sponsors, the makers of Johnson's Wax, who also bring you the Steve Allen program. Now, we're going to have you to say thanks to pet milk. Say thanks, pet milk. Come on. Pa thanks to pet milk. Come on, come on. Come on. Remember what happened to the turkey? Yeah. <laughs> pet milk. That's it. Go and say it. Pet milk. Hurry. I brought you the Red Skelton Show. Produced by Cecil Barker. Directed by Seymour Byrne. Written by Sherwood Schwartz, Jesse Goldstein, Dave O'Brien, and Red Skelton. The portions of the preceding program were pre-recorded. This is Art Gilmore speaking. The Red Skelton Show is a CBS television network production.